headlines in the first 11 at 11. We are getting a closer look tonight at some of the homes damaged in West Texas, the scene of that fertilizer plant explosion two weeks ago. Emergency crews have just begun allowing residents to return to their neighborhoods so that they can begin the monumental task of cleaning up. Many of their homes have been destroyed. There was also a loss of life in the explosion. Eleven volunteer firefighters were killed. And as News 8's Pete One Team shows us, it's affected a York County woman who's now sending help. When you share a house with a fireman, you learn to be adaptable. I think it was a birthday party for our daughter, and he was supposed to go pick up food. <laughs> and he show up, showed up a couple of hours later with the food. <laughs> For Danielle and Mike McCoy, the support comes online, a website called Firewives. Sometimes the news is good, sometimes not so good. Two weeks ago, a post about the town of West. It's very tough, and it hits very close to home, and it hit close to home for all of us. Because we know at any given time, that could be you, that could be your family, your husband. We could be on a similar type of list around here, and the exact same thing could have happened. The similarity is why Danielle took to another post and started taking orders for these t-shirts, more than a piece of fabric to help families in West cut from the same cloth. Danielle thought she was going to get 150 orders for the shirts that say keep calm and be fire life strong. Instead, she received more than 750 and a donation worth more than $7,500. It kind of makes you feel better that you can do something to make a difference, to let them know that they are thought of, that they are that they are cared for by so many. Eleven volunteers, part of a brotherhood with firefighters everywhere, now being helped by a sisterhood in your county. Nothing is ever going to replace the lives lost, but we can help to make things a little better. Pete Munty, News 8. And the orders are still coming in for the shirts Danielle McCoy is selling. They're being accepted until May 12th. If you want one, we have a link to the website at WGAL.com. Harrisburg Police.